Now it's time to take a look at the different turnarounds that you hear in Aces Shuffle by the Aces. Again, it's very difficult to hear exactly what's being played at the end of some of the verses. You've got the rhythm guitar, you've got the, the, the turnaround being played, you've got the bass, the harmonica, you've got everything going. And it's, at least for me, it was difficult to pick out some of this stuff. But I think I have the, the general idea, if not exactly, what's being played for, for these different examples I'm going to show you here. The first verse, he plays a single string turnaround over the, the E seventh position, or the first position E. And he plays something like this. So. And then he wraps it up like this. So this turnaround. That right there, it's a little different in some of the little Walter stuff you'll hear. You know, turnarounds like that. All kinds of variations, but this is one I'd never heard before. So I'm starting on the third fret of the first string. Open. Same thing on the second string. And then three, two on the third string. Open third string, back to the second fret of the third string. And then to the second fret of the fourth string, and hammer on the first fret of the third string. That's what I hear. And then the open, walk into the B7, B7 chord. Let me try to play that slowly. Something like that. Check the tab and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. So at the end of the first verse, he plays this, you know, just try to take it from the four. And then back to the back to the shuffle. So there's the first example of a turnaround. The second example is a typical, what I call a Jimmy Reed style turnaround using the bass strings over the first position E. And I hear something like this played in two or three slightly different ways throughout the song. Something like that, where you're hammering on to the second fret of the fourth string. Open, fourth string. Maybe two, one, open, like that. Then he's going to go to the third fret of the, of the sixth string, and you can go open, or you can go back to the second fret of the fourth string, like that. So let's play that slowly. Right here, I'm hammering on to the first fret of the fifth string, coming off with the open. Something like that. Played fast. It's a fast shuffle, so you'd have to play this pretty quick. Or you can do this. Check the tab. Now, it does, it's hard to tell exactly what notes are being played there. You could do this, where he stays on the fifth fret or the second fret of the fifth string instead of going to the first fret. I hear this, something like that with that hammer on pull off on the first fret of the fifth string. So you got the single string turnaround on the on the treble strings. And then we got these bass turnarounds. Listen throughout the tune, and you'll hear slight variations. I'm going to show you one or two of those here in a minute. But it's something where he's hammering on to that second fret of the fourth string, and then, you know, going around from there. So that's example number two. Check the tab to see exactly what I have, have for you. At least that's the way I hear it on the record. The next variation is also a bass string turnaround, and I hear this later in the song. This is another one that sounds like something off a Jimmy Reed record. And what he's doing here is something like this. And what I hear is the open fourth string. And then maybe the second fret of the fifth string. And then 
the open fourth string again. And then the open fourth, third fret of the sixth string, open. So we got something like this. I can't hear it exactly. He could be using another open fifth string like this. And playing the open fifth, third fret of the sixth string, open fifth, six. Something like that. So we got this. Something like that, or, whoops, let me do that again. Either way, he's playing it fast. But that's what I'm hearing there. So he's some kind of little run starting with that open. With the open fourth string. That's another variation on that bass turnaround that you hear. Check the tab, listen to the original recording, and see if you can figure that one out exactly. Yet another little variation on the, uh, on the bass, what I call a bass note turnaround. He does something like this. And what I hear there is an open fourth string, one, two, and then an open fourth string again. So it's open, one, two, open. And then you hear that same pattern. Something like that. Or maybe something like that. Strengths. So the variation here is the way he's starting that turnaround. Open on the fourth string, and then most of the turnarounds he seems to wind up with a climb into the B7. So there's another example. shuffle rhythm. So there you have four different examples of turnaround licks that you hear in the Aces Shuffle by the Aces. There's a fifth one that I, I think I hear in the background of one of the verses. I tabbed it out for you. You can play around with that one. I'd show it to you, but I'm not really sure you know, if I got it right or not. But you can listen and see if, if you think it is. So. We've got the basic shuffle rhythm, we've got a bunch of different chord licks, we've got some double stop licks plus chord licks, and then we've got the turnarounds. All that's left for this tune is the solo, and we'll get to that next.